Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, the Brooklyn Nets have been making some huge moves this offseason and are the reason why the New York Knicks are taking a fat ass ill, partially, you feel me? But before we get into the video, I just want to say if you're new to the channel, what's up? If you're fucking with the content and you're fucking with the video, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also, I'm covering free agency huge topics, and I already got a video up about the Golden State Warriors, so you can check that out if you want to, okay? So, let's get into the video. So, the first thing they did was bring in Kyrie Irving. So, like I said in my other video, I'm not really a fan of the move, but I respect the move. The reason why I'm not a fan of the move is because I think they had no business letting go D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell is a 23-year-old point guard that took this team from the bottom of the of the league fuck the eastern conference the league bruh and he took them to the playoffs in one season not only did he improve his personal performance and you know make the all-star game but he had a huge impact on the team's chemistry he had a huge impact on the team's culture and he was a great leader you don't move on from a player like that just to get an upgraded talent that's so corny and they were disloyal for that bruh and this could potentially hurt them because i feel like Bringing in Kyrie is risky, bro. We seen what Kyrie did in Boston. Boston was loaded, bro. Boston made the Easter Conference Finals without Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward. I know the Easter Conference got better the following year, but shit, you would think they would at least put up a better fight in that second round or at least make it to the third round again, you feel me? So Kyrie Irving, teammates said they didn't like playing with him. He has a huge ego, and it's just so risky but he's just so talented and he's bringing along kd the fact that he's bringing along kd makes the move respectable you feel me kd is the second best player in the league arguably kd also is a great scorer when healthy he will make this team better like they had damari carroll running small forward confidently bro he was ass in the playoffs bro they can use some kd trust me you feel me so also along with that they bring in deandre jordan DeAndre Jordan must want to ring bad, bro, because he ain't getting paid too much of nothing. You feel me? DeAndre, DeAndre Jordan could get a better contract than that. You feel me? So, bring him in. This is a guy that you could throw oops to, a dude that can get some decent rebounds, a dude that can block some shots, and, you know, he can score, you know? They need DeAndre Jordan because last season, they got obliterated, bro, in the paint against the Philadelphia 76ers. MB just ate them alive. They couldn't do nothing about that paint. So, having Jared Allen and DeAndre Jordan to depend on and they, I know they go add some more depth at center bro that definitely is a huge improvement from last season so the thing I like about this is they already had a solid foundation with Dinwiddie, Levert, Joe Harris and um Jared Allen and then they drafted Nick Claxton who was a good power forward slash center too so this team got some depth bro the only thing that will stop this team from making it to the finals or the Eastern Conference Finals when KD comes back is chemistry, bro. We have to make sure this team be able to play right. The team loved playing with D'Angelo Russell. They were slowing. They even had, oh, Jared Allen turned up on the sideline. Not Jared Allen. Jared Dudley turned on the sideline, bro. The chemistry is going to be a huge factor, bro. I'm telling you, bro. But other than that, I think this team will be legit and... The Brooklyn Nets definitely improved from last season, but I still, still wish they would have they would have kept DeAngelo Russell, man. So that's how things are with the Brooklyn Nets. All I'm asking for Kyrie Irving to do while KD is missing this first season, leave all that negative shit and all that individual and ego shit in Boston, bro. Don't bring none of that shit to this young, hungry, and determined team, bro. They already got chemistry. They just lost their leader who fit in well. You need to show that you fit in as well, bro. And then when KD comes back the next season, that's when it's time to get the show rolling. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do you think they're doing the right thing by adding Kyrie and KD? Do you think they can win a championship? Or do you think they should have kept D'Angelo Russell, let them grow together and add some assets then they could have been, you know, one day a dynasty. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And I got more videos coming soon.